mole understanding the concept of mole now before i get into this let me ask you a question have you ever seen that uh, you know you must be all carrying some form of coins right let's say for example you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 coins okay which is of rupee 1 each now if i tell you to tell me what is the value of these coins it's easy for you right you can just count all these number of coins and tell me that the total value is rupees 10 but let's say for example i give you a huge dump of coins which has lakhs or actually millions of coins and then i tell you to please count these coins and tell me what is the value you will say what the hell i mean you might just go mad right an easier way which people find out for this was that they said okay let me get all the coins for a particular denomination and this happens more so in the case of banks I mean not now because the coins are not that very prevalent but what they do in bank is to find out how much is the value of the coin they find out what is the weight or let's say the mass of one coin right then they put together all the coins of the same denomination okay right let's say they were hundred thousand coins okay and the mass of all these coins taken together was 2000 kgs right if you know that the mass of one coin okay is equal to 20 grams right you can easily find out what is the total number of coins right i told you this number beforehand but let's say for example you have 2000 kgs or simply if i just put three zero more this much grams you divide it by the weight of one coin right and simply you will come to know that you had hundred thousand coins and if the one coin is worth rupees one each you know that the value is hundred thousand you must be wondering why am I explaining this to you similar to this when we talk about the atoms okay there are millions and millions and millions and millions of atoms or maybe thousands and hundreds and hundreds of atoms which could be there in a particular commodity right if i tell you to find out the value or the number of atoms here and this is equally applicable for molecules as well if i tell you to find out the number of atoms here you will say literally i'll go mad just similar to the situation where you had these coins over here right now the scientists through experiments have found out that a gram atomic mass contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms right so what this means is that if we are talking about the gram atomic mass of let's say oxygen which we took in our previous example which was 16 grams right so this basically means that 16 gram is 16 gram of oxygen is equal to one mole of oxygen atom right now what does this mole stands for this mole basically is nothing but it is a group or a collection mole is a group stroke collection of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of a substance now this can be atoms this can be molecules this can be ions so if we say one mole of oxygen atom right this is equal to how much this is equal to 16 grams what if we, if we talk of one mole of oxygen molecule this is equal to 32 grams so the mole is nothing 
but it's a collection of this many number of a particular particle which could be atom, oxygen, or sorry, molecule or ions. So when we take 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of oxygen, we say this is equal to 1 mole of oxygen. When we say 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of oxygen, we say this is 1 mole of oxygen molecule. So mo mole is nothing, it's just kind of a link between the number of atoms or molecules and the mass of the atom or molecule. This particular number that we are talking about again and again is known as Avogadro number. Right? I hope you had a good time understanding this. In case there are any clarifications, you can just write it down. To recapitulate, mole is nothing, but it's just kind of a collection of a defined number of atoms or molecules and it basically tries to link the mass of an atom or a molecule with the number of atoms. So if, let's say for example, this has a mass of 32 gram. Let's say this is filled with oxygen. Okay. And it has a mass of 32 grams. Right. We know that one mole of oxygen has how many grams? It has 16 grams. Right. So this contains how many moles of oxygen? It contains 32 divided by 16 or 2 moles of oxygen. Right? I hope this point is clear. Thank you for being with us today.